So Larry, we have a lot of people who, when they join Medicare, they always ask themselves, well, what happens when the worst case scenario happens? So given the fact that you're currently going through prostate cancer, can you share a little bit about how Medicare and cancer have worked for you, both the pros and the cons? Well, first of all, I'm thankful that I'm in traditional Medicare. I'm in original Medicare. I have the one plan. I can pick my own doctors. I can go wherever they accept Medicare, which I can't do in private. So this is pretty, a pretty big deal for me because traditional Medicare, the cost of these radiation treatments will be about $67,000. Medicare will pay 80%. The supplement plan typically pays the other 20. So that's, that's a lot of money. Uh, but even bigger than that is that by being able to choose, uh, I'll give you an example. I went to my first urologist that I went to uh, did a biopsy on me. And for those, I'm sure the ladies listening, this is not uh, front page for them, but for the males or their husbands, at least uh, it is important to know that we're treating, we're trying to find prostate cancer in the wrong way. Typically what happens, uh, you have an elevated PSA, which is, which is, it just means if, if you're above four, you're up around eight where I was, then you think, uh oh, there's something going on. So they typically go in, I went to this urologist, first one, and they did what's called a transrectal ultrasound biopsy, where you go in and they can't see. It's on a little Doppler screen. They take 12 core samples, send them into the lab, and it came back up, couldn't find any cancer. Then I had my, my PSA mark was still up and then my doctor said, well, let's do it again. So I was suspicious of that. And I asked a friend of mine who had been to the same doctor. He said, well, I've had three, four of those. And I said, oh, there's got to be something wrong here. So I started researching and I found out that that's really, uh, there's a million of these biopsies done every year in America. A million men get biopsy. 750,000 come out negative, no cancer. Well, there's cancer. They're just, they're, they're under-diagnosing, uh, they're over-diagnosing insignificant cancers, under-diagnosing cancers like mine. So what did I do? And I think the value of our program is we not only uh, share uh, costs and companies, but we share stories for Medicare. Medicare people aren't hearing these kind of stories. You know, men aren't going around, talk to a man about a prostate. Oh, well, you know, I think you're not, you're not going to talk about it. Well, what I did, I found uh, UCLA studies. I went east, west coast. The state of the art is to get an MRI. That's where you find it. So I go to my doctor and I go, hey, I'm going to get an MRI. And he goes, well, Medicare won't pay for it. And I said, well, I'm going to pay for it because I found a place in Omaha, Nebraska, it's called First Scan. They're right off I-80. And I can I pay them 595 bucks, and they're going to see if I have cancer. Well, what do you know? They did find that I had it. And they found it in an area that is not even biopsy the old-fashioned way. So the old-fashioned way, I, I call it pin the tail on the donkey. The doctors going in there, they can't. It's the only cancer where you, you, you can't see it. Well, fortunately for me, it was, in, the, it was in, a, in an area that is seldom found until somebody's died and they do an autopsy. You know, so mine, luckily, mine was not fast growing. So then I found another doctor who does what's called MRI fusion biopsies, state of the art, where they go in, they take the software, they put it on a screen, they go in, bingo, they go right to that cancer, they pull it out, and it tells you how aggressive it is. So this is a big, big thing. So Medicare, what's really ironic, this, this is really, good. I go for the second MRI. Now, now that I'm in Medicare, Medicare says, oh, the doctor says they, they found cancer. Yeah, okay, we'll pay for the next one. So I go to this, I go to this place uh, out of town in, in a different city, and I, uh, I go and get the MRI. Same one I, I had in, in Omaha. Actually, the Omaha one was better. It was more comfortable. And I don't know why, maybe because they're fairly new. But I get this MRI and the bill comes out. And I look at my Medicare report and they charge Medicare $2,000. I paid 549. 
So I look at my bill and I look at, you know how Medicare writes down things? They wrote it down and they paid $555 to this, to, for the, they paid what I paid. So what's wrong is, is what, what I see with, can, with prostate cancer, this is a serious issue that people who, who aren't, uh, I mean, who, you, usually you go and your doctor says, well, we got to get it out of there. You know, that's the first. No, you don't. There are other, you, you may not. There, there may be many operations. If you do the MRI, it may say, you know, it's, it's not fast growing. It's not, you're not in danger. Let's do active surveillance, which I did. Well, now mine has changed to the point where my doctor wants to, to kill it, to cure it. So I'm going to use radiation. And that's an option. There are some more sophisticated radiation techniques out. But Medicare is a lifesaver. And again, people who think that the, you get a free gym club membership, you may not be able to pick the doctor. I picked a Mayo trained I didn't go to Mayo Clinic, but I picked a doctor who was trained at Mayo Clinic. Well, guess what? If I'm in a Medicare Advantage plan, we know, I know of a, 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 a client who called and her father was in a plan. They, they're in Houston. They wanted to go to MD Anderson. They're in a Medicare Advantage. They said, no, nah, sorry, we won't pay. It's out of our network. Look, I hope you all found this helpful. I think the biggest thing is that you know, so far, Larry has found Medicare to be extremely helpful when it comes to his cancer treatment as well as surveillance. Um, it's definitely been more helpful because he's on original Medicare and picked the right supplement plan for him. Um, but, but yeah, when you plan for Medicare and you plan for the worst case situation, it's a good thing to understand. So if you found this helpful, please make sure that you share it with your friends and check us out at themedicarecoach.com.